game's audio is real low on the menu screen, which is fine. But it always makes me think, man, is my audio working? Fine, that audio is working. All right. What do we got going on? We got a main quest. We got these side quests, of which this I can't do until some more main quest gets done. <clears throat> We're gonna do this side quest when we get our spear upgrade. No errands. We've done all of this stuff. I finished off the hunting grounds off stream. I've got full suns in everything. Blazing suns. I'm going to make some comments on that later. Run. Let's hide. Yump. Let's dodge. It's a really old tank. Alright. So, like I was saying. What are we doing? We're doing this. Deep secrets of the earth. For the ancient ones beneath the citadel. An unravel. The unbelievable truth of Project Zero Dawn. Scary. Spooky scary. Where is this thing? Just consult the map. I don't have a whole lot of. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's right. Not very far away. <laughs> Maybe we'll take out some behemoths for fun. Maybe we'll get our asses kicked. Maybe we'll check our skill. We have zero skill points, so maybe we won't. Maybe uh, that's something we want. Chicken, chicky, chicky. Chicky sees us. He's dead. Oh, I remember this. Chicky, come here, chicky, chicky. Hear me? This is my chicky now. Hamster. Yeah, I have been known to hang out at www.twitch.tv slash L-O-T-H-A-R-T-V from time to time. On occasion. Excuse you, I'm standing here. Here's the behemoth. It would be a lot of fun. I'm sure one of those guys. Override, if you will.
Is this main quest? Sadly, this is main quest. We are totally and completely fresh out. Amongst the bad things that are occurring, that's one of them. So, can you get over here? What are you doing? Are you picking up rocks? Oh, they ran into my friend chicken. Trying my best to override that thing, and I don't seem to be able to. Everybody's pretty mad. Man, I don't know what they're fighting. Behemoths do have ranged attack. I think they can throw rocks. That's what all those rocks being tossed around were earlier. I think I tied him down in a spot where I can't override him. Pick up an immunity to rocks? I don't remember. Pick up the rocks! Okay, it's my friend.
didn't feel immune to rocks. Fun. I wonder if this is an upgrade. Okay. Okay. This is a plant growing on top of another plant. Now it's a plant hovering in the air. I'll just have that too. I'm sure that's the only instance in the entire game where that happens. And I found it. I'm sure the rest of this game is so immaculately created that it doesn't occur anywhere else. <coughs> I didn't break this game. I didn't have anything to do with me. There's two here also. But at least there's not one on top of another. back on the road. Oh, there's a campfire we haven't gotten to on the way. We got rabbit. There's a behemoth over there. A behemoth. This seems like an odd transition. Uh, Shell Walker might not seem one not. From forest to desert. It's got to transition somewhere, I guess. Is this gonna go if I start a fight? I mean, there's a lot of them. It's well, probably the does it. There is a lot of them. Like, a lot of them. I think she's doing Mario Kart. Oh, really? I was unaware. You're kind of done for now. Take you on. Oh, 
time. They're gonna give me time. friend's still alive. Not for long, though. Maybe you change your paces in order then. At least for a little while. What do I know? A bunch of chickens over there. A little close. I'll find a use for you. Didn't even cost me much. Tramplers. Uh, I don't think I have to mess with them. They're safely over there, and I'm dangerously over here. Oh, good chickens. Some final stretch. No, this is just out in the wilderness. Some place I've decided to walk instead of fast travel to <laughs> I decided to have a little fun on my way through oh here's it potential friend Get 
turning back. Maybe not my friend. I feel like I should have got partial credit for that. Should have given me a little bit of XP. I'm not asking for a lot. Where am I going? Over oh, this way. Okay. What's the max level? I don't know. It's not 52. I know that much. Is that the weird circular thing? I think so. It's this area. Or it's the town attached to it. Ooh, Zero Dawn project. That's where the Zero Dawn was made. Zero Dawn facility. I'm gonna idle here for a little bit and take a quick break and offload this coffee I had earlier. I'll be right back. back is zero dawn similar to diet dawn i think it basically replaces diet dawn on the market pretty much the same stuff just <clears throat> just a different formula make it taste better maybe oh hello. okay this isn't the danger area got it i can freely move about even though i'm public enemy number one Uthid was the most devoted what Oh, that's right. Now I remember where I am. Base game was 50. Well, it's no longer 50. I tell you. Well, I've killed a whole lot of Shadow Karja. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. And this is her main base. I could have sworn some fall was more crowded. But maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't know I'm a mass murderer. Okay, got all the stuff. About outfit. Did I kill the messenger? I probably killed the messenger. Won't cost you a shard just to look. Not many have escaped my wrath. Oh, uh, am I gonna have to do arena battles? The submarine. A proud tradition of Akaja. It's not like this in Meridian. At least. Give them time. I'm sure they miss it. Belly fell off. What else you got? Trip me. Well 
done, Behemoth. You did a good job. Now where do I go? If he can't stay true, up there. He's there for the rest of us. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did I crash the network or not? In theory, all should be well. Sort of makes me anxious. <sighs> Earth. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. In the meantime, light this fire. I've already started packing my things for our return to Can I shoot this thing from here? Mm, I can, but it doesn't take me. It's not a real behemoth. to circulate up here where the quest beacon is. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahamas. They eat bottoms. What are you waiting around for, Outlander? I suppose bounties there's are nothing so strange about old men dying. Still. Just do as you're told and stay out of our way. You talking to me? Oh, that's neat. Thunderjaw or whatever it's called. Still loyalty to our cause, even if they are getting paid. Cutscene again. By the glory of the sun revealed. Wow. Behold, that is a magnificent radiant hat. Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. He's a little baby boy. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Oh, thanks. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Ooh. Kind of busy. Sounds like an invitation. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. I don't even know what a Kestrel is. First time I mean, I know it's a bird. You've got to see the sun ring from on high. The next well, the Kestrels. Ha! Ah, they want us to see this, boy. Oh. Yeah, we don't have time for your main quest nonsense. It makes quite an impression. We're gonna do this instead. Don't start thinking you're welcome here. How about you're only not even talking tolerated. to you? Don't wanna go that way. Avad will have to answer for that eventually. Where do I go? This way. I mean, they gave this side quest a cutscene. Oh, it's gotta be important. I know, 
I was worried for a while. Howdy, Lee. I was worried I wasn't going to have any game to play, but now we got a new cut, a new side quest. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. They are new cutscenes. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Oh, she is totally coming Some on to us. say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. They didn't sync up her mouth flapping with uh, the dialogue very well. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look. He feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that it will fall back on what worked before. I don't know what they do. I haven't got any idea. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? But I know what other characters in this one? very game have been done Useful better. things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Uther owes us an explanation. We trusted him. <laughs> we got a new side quest. It's over here. I will excuse it Ouch. for the time being. Ouch, you just, it's like one foot that you just dropped. It's fine. You're fine. <whistles> Let's just get one of these. We spent skill points on it, may as well use it, right? Can't fire discovery. Why did the music start? There's a fight. And these good guys are very good. Ah, shoot.
severely rude. Did I get anything for that, or did it cheat me again? I got stuff. I'll take stuff. Unfortunately, it has decided to die on top of this flower, making it hard for me to collect. This storm's gonna back down before I do. This is going on long enough. Is it? My hands into its shiny bits. It it forfeited those shiny bits. Stay alert. What shiny bits belong to me now? Wildlife kills for some reason. I killed some poor animal. I don't even know it. Mm. It is a weird deer, is it not? It's also an odd horse. each other. I 
absolutely not a problem. Uh, another one? Oh, there's one up there. How cute. And one right there. Here we go again. Me. I'm taking control of your friend. Hey, chill out, dude. Where's your container? Oh, it's here in pieces. Okay. That's fine. I'll tuck that away. I got some beef stew cooking. It's starting to smell pretty good. That's going to be ready in about seven and a half hours. Three dead trees. Just like Vinasha said. Is that what she Let's said? Let's see if a kid came through here. I don't remember her saying anything about that, but... These oh, tracks no. lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. A pretty poor memory. Also, I wasn't listening too terribly close to her. This green climb looks awful gray. Track stop here. Time to climb. Okay. Now where? Over there. Okay. Am I supposed to jump over there from here? Oops. On buttons. Hold on, hold on. Keep... Keep spazzing out. This is my place. I probably would have built some ladders at least. Maybe some kind of stairway or something. I'm sure this gets tiring. All right, made it. Where did you go, Uthid? I imagine getting home drunk. I'm in the food scrap. Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Tracks.
Hmm, wide open area. A dead machine. Luth has been hunting. Luth's behind some stuff. Or is this the machine you're talking Everything about? useful has been stripped. Luth has been gathering components, probably for ammo. Ugh. These things. One talks. Look at the scavenge. I gotta, yeah, the quest demands I kill these things that I hate having to deal with. Of course it does. Great, great shot. I'm ready. Gotta be. Have done any of the DLC content yet? No. Um, I'll do the DLC content when I get my spear upgrade. Everything useful has been stripped. But I'll do main story stuff until that occurs. Luthid took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. And all you mean these parts that he left on it? Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. Of course, I wouldn't know what's DLC content and what isn't, so maybe I have done some DLC content. I haven't gone into the area that's designated as the DLC area. I know that much. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. Oh, he's very trusting. So are we. Monk. Just take all this stuff, why not? Oh, he's right here. How long have you been standing there? <laughs> no tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. I'm gonna ask Bahavis, but we clearly know who Bahavis is. The high priest Bahavis? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence. Then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. 
Then they turned on us. I should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. Fat joke. No skinny jokes. Old deal stuff, see stuff is in a snowy area. Snowy. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards you once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. What's snowing? I don't know, you're gonna have to ask Glee. He's the one that made up that word. Alright, I'm gonna take another quick break. Be right back. I've discovered that they make no sugar Jolly Ranchers. Now, I'm sure these still aren't any good for me, but at least it will kill me in a way I don't expect. And I can enjoy Jolly Ranchers again. I can believe you're a good man, but why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes. He's just a little an tiny baby. Vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Vanasha. But first, we need to get also, you out of here. Also, she's totally my girlfriend What now. are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out. Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo. You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Got a live one! Uh, <laughs> where are they? Oh, they're way over there. Oh! <laughs> hey, there was an explosion. Wasn't there? <laughs> Ready to die? <laughs> nah. I'm gonna take care of Keep up the attack. We still got another squad on the way. Oh, who's this squad? Uh, that one just popped in. My immersion. Okay. You like this. Fair. Fair enough. So I can't see crap. Move in. We'll send the rest as soon as they arrive. Ah. Oh, is this here? Is this here?
I'm behind rocks, eh? Where's the dude I was looking for? I think he's... He's right there. That won't be the last of them. Follow me. I've stashed supplies. Andy. I think they didn't step on that one. But this one was nice enough to step on my trap. Excuse me, I was about to pick up those sticks. Gross, we touched the bottom of his shoe. It's disgusting. Up and over. Grab what you can while we still have time. Okay. I'll have some of this. Um, this for no reason. This. What else is there? Oh! Oh! Excuse me, I want the gun. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Mm. Why is I he I know here? that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. Um, I want in here. I want this. Oh, dang it. No! Let you fall. You shan't. That didn't work. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Somebody else? Not dead? What? Take the fight to go. them! In the head. That's the last of the marvels. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Oh no! Will you come with me? Disappeared. For a second. Sh 
surely there's some more. The snow's got a bite out here. Surely somebody's got some more potions, no? But I used a bunch of them. Bahavis, Bahavis is that guy with the crazy headgear. He's also like the main shadow card bad guy. And I thought for sure I was gonna get some potions out of that. Human enemies drop potions all the time. Except when I use a bunch, and then they don't. This won't be easy. Bahavas still has his personal guard. It's okay. Wake it up, I'm looting corpse. And you can have some. Eh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Across there and we'll have him. Yep. There he I goes. I had to come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid. And mine. You want that stupid hat makes a great target. Us here. And now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. He knows it's nighttime, right? Press the advantage. It shifts like heat haze. Kill a traitor! Kill a Nora! I got corruption on me. Damn, he's hitting hard. Close in, quit the field. The sun sets on your pathetic life, Uthid. Into the fray! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You gonna fall down anytime soon? Thanks. Make it hurt as the shadow falls upon them. Uh -oh. Press the attack. Make it hurt! Uh, as the shadow falls uh, upon us. Uh, the sun blazes uh, at our backs. Up to his perch. That's actually one of the tougher fights in the whole game so far. Can I talk to him with this? He's got plot armor. Bad thing for me. You'll do. <laughs> Gotta hit Y here. Okay.
this is an odd choice. But I guess it's the only way they could get Whatever the NPC deal you up worked there too. Out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. In your stupid hat. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. <laughs> What happened to him? <laughs> I was looking the other way. <laughs> that was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shand, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. <sighs> You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian. To safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once. It wasn't very good, but still. Come on, dang. Anything Just trash the kid's artwork. God dang. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. <laughs> He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military <laughs> advisor. Hopefully, he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. Hey everybody, look at this crappy thing this six year old made for me. What's going to happen Jeez. at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. There'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, three Tohuadib near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Wadib has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. I don't think she's gonna, because she's making a lot of plans. Plans that'll probably The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. The voice actress is kind of crap. Like, no. What makes you think Avad will welcome me? After she I sounds bored. He's a forgiving man. Just smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? No, that's... that's a grimace. Wait, Nervous I'm... about going to Meridian? She's I've been a soldier for 20 years. I just need to practice nervous. more. Not even around a pretty lady? I will not dignify that with a response. Uh, why not? She is kind of hot. No, anyway. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Where do I go? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? Obviously here. None at all. I was just being polite. But how? How do I get? What makes you think Avad will welcome me after I served his enemies? 
Just enemies. Just smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? No, that's that's a grimace. All right. How do I get out of here? Okay, this way. I've been a soldier for 20 years. I do not get nervous. Not even around a pretty lady? I will not take oh. time back with this one. Mm, this will work. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Save these for the trail. Supply all these dead people. to three to Hwadi. Identifiable by the number of toes he has. Hi Zach. How's it going? So we gotta go back and have everybody take off their shoes and so we can find out who this guy is. Some stuff Good for an old remedy. Uh, I want to get some stuff. Let's see. Uh, traps and potions. Let's go fill up on these. critters to make these not work oh so this is what all that stuff is for I've never once looked at this we can make resistance potion oh, this might actually come in handy and we get to use up some of that stuff we've been picking up forever Problem is now I got that stuff clogging up my. Oh, didn't need to do that. Didn't need to do it. Yeah, now we gotta cycle through all this stuff all the time. Oh well. That's fine. It's a shame to make the healing potions. You gotta slaughter animals. And that's like my least favorite thing to do in it. I doubt I'll be making any of those. Unless I can just buy the parts. Hello. You can't fall apart now. The tribe needs you. Why are the... 
Why are there Nora here? Instead of down here. That's crazy. They're not allowed to leave, right? Only I'm allowed to leave. Am I releasing my own coin? What do we call it? Also, how does that work? How do you do that? Howdy Slick Ding. How's it going? Howdy Coin. That's a good one. Alright. Hamster is now in charge of Howdy Coin. Razors are grunty. All oh, right, those things. I forgot about them. They saw me. This is it. Uh, what saw me? That saw me. That's that. Uh, I'm not interested in your shenanigans. Slick Dang is ex cousin, as far as I can tell. That's what I've gathered. Obviously. That was a rock something? I don't remember what they what they're called. It was a diggy it was a diggy robot. He's diggy digging a hole. Is that Slick Dang called Zek his cousin? So I'm assuming that it's true. Because Slick Dang wouldn't lie. Nobody lies on the moon. My friend now. Yeah. Play with your friends. They're over there. You're not gonna be the one to stop. Uh, I think I shut the wrong one. <laughs> See something, boy? Another robot? There's a lot of robots around here. Like, a lot, a lot. You see me? Now they're hunting me. Chicken over here. Oh, 
Also, there's more chicken. Um. Play around. Okay, so <clears throat> some of you might remember I was uh, having a lot of trouble with the uh, the last few Hunter's Lodge quests. Sorry, cross this line. I dare you. No, don't want to. Well, off stream, I went back and did those, and turns out the game lies about how you need to do those. The game says that they are... It's important to be patient and stealthy with those, those particular missions. And that's a outright false because those missions require you to be as fast and runny as possible you gotta run and you gotta shoot there ain't no being quiet about it so using that strategy I completed them in like 15 minutes and what we got out of it was this bow and this rope caster. Rope caster I like. Bow, not my favorite. It'll come in handy, maybe, but better than this bow. Yeah. Run and stealth. Uh-oh, spotted. Come on, come run into the traps. Uh, excuse me, you walked right over that trap? No. Not a warning. Not a warning. Not a warning to who? Who are you talking to? Oh, now the trampers are involved. Everybody's got a piece. Of <laughs> I'm having a hard time with everybody. Underground. He's dead. Nice hit. Do, do, do. Be stealthy with a stringent time limit. Right, exactly. See you later, Slick Bang. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Take it easy. Perhaps we'll talk at you later. Nothing. I can take torture, but not boredom. Dude, it's dead. Okay, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Just didn't get you affiliate. Why not? Did it tell you you lack something? Have you done the onboarding yet? 
Or have they even offered the onboarding? Oh, you were talking about- oh, right, right, right. I misunderstood, obviously. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, that's going on. Well, it turns out that's got nothing to do with me. That's those people's problem. So, here's a minor complaint. The traps. The traps don't seem to be that useful because I think I'm in the clear. The enemies know where the traps are, and they refuse to interact with them most of the time. Maybe if we didn't have these red flashing lights on them, it would be better. That's good. Good shooting. Nice. You really showed that dirt in his boss. This is where it ends. But if you wall yourself up with traps, they do make an effective defense. As we've seen here, those robots were too scared to come get me. Using choke points funnels. Yeah, it's still. It's still kind of weird. Full already. Oh, we're full. We're too fat. All this blue stuff and green stuff. We don't need any of that garbage. Don't need most of this purple garbage. Thank you. Thank you for displaying that message for all that time. I'm, I'm very appreciative. Where am I going? This way. Hello, friend. Phone a friend. Check this out, man. Baby got back for sure. Okay. Go beat those up while I like this. Snake, how are you doing today? I need to be somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I don't think she's ever said that. I'm doing all right. Not doing badly at all. Ooh, there was a fight. Um, where do I need to be going? Oh, I'm here. Never mind. You have reached your destination. Too, snake. Anything fun? Hmm. 
Doesn't look like whatever this was went well. You're three to Hadith, right? Banasha sent me. What happened? Also, I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Can I count your toes so I can verify who you are? Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damn fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful parts. Oh, sorry to hear that, Snake. Hope that improves so for Vinasha you. So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast. Ooh, heinous death beast. Something attacked you from underground. Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. It tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? Not really. Well, we didn't last long against it, but I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. Hmm. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar. Quit dawdling, hero. That hideous thing in the past ain't gonna fight itself. It might. I need to get going. You sure do. So that thing I ran away from earlier. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, there it is. My friend's fighting it. We want. Soften it up. Before we actually go down. Yeah, he's one of the better one of the better NPCs so far. Bam. the hardest arrows to get. I think my favorite NPC so far to laugh at is that Hunter's Lodge guy that sounds like Goofy.
mean, I can't see you. Either. Oh, was I using the sticky bombs? They're gonna make it easy for me, why not? Jesus. <laughs> a little off. I'm gonna go get my loot. Down fast. Hmm. It's still, oh, this. still jiggling a little bit. Sit still. Um, where am I supposed to go? Right here. That was so exciting. I need to take a short break. I'll be right back. Snake. By the radiant sun, I can't believe it. Why can't you believe it? I mean, I was right there. <laughs> you saw it. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Banasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Hmm. Little Huntress, glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Eve? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase, in this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. We're going to have to protect, aren't we?
Yeah, but I mean, he sat there and watched me do it. <laughs> Consternation is one thing, but surprise? Oh dear, here come the Shadow Carger, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Khwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore, carefully. Yeah, he did such a great job last time. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Oh, she's a phlebotomist. Some traps would be nice. That's what I'm doing. I mean, I don't even know where they're coming from. Uh, rope caster, rope caster. What am I looking for? It's this. Shall we prepare a little surprise for them? Yeah, where? I don't even know where you are. Am I supposed to know where they're going? Are you sure you don't have any traps, little hunter? I got traps. Here. Just a matter of time. Where do you want me to put them? Take cover up there, behind that rock. Yeah, they never hit the traps. Ever. Ever. Here they are. Let's make it hurt. I mean, I don't Sorry. even know where they're gonna come from or anything. Or where I'm supposed to be. Who's there? <laughs> It's me! Hidden McShooty! Your head! Wow, that was entertaining. But I suspect you're not done. Uh, stuck More in the tree? Of the bastards. Get ready. The bastards. Do they honestly think we'll let them win? Maybe. Missed. They just walk right between all the trees. Let's try something new. Bah. Well, now, seems I worked up a bit of a sweat. They didn't hit a single trap. I that seems this place is just full of traps. Jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Okay, that sounds Damn, bigger. I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere. It's a thunderjaw, isn't it? I think that's what I just saw. I mean, that's fine. But I want my rope caster back. Now is this going to step on any traps? Ah! 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 You're going down.
appreciate it. Like, what the hell's hitting me? It was a dude. It was that dude. Who did not enjoy the bomb I shoved down his throat. Keep that for later. Do that particularly. need that. I'll take a stick. Why not? I always use sticks. Now, did any traps get tripped? Probably not. I don't think a single one of these got stepped on. None of the rope traps, none of the ones I placed. Right. Let's see, is that everything? But no, there's loot here. Corpses, stuff. Okay, it's time to leave. All my friends are dead. Maybe Aloy should give the bag lessons in our case. Oh man, we're almost at level 53. Might use the scooch. Ever so much. Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? I mean, I like it. It's a very nice raft slash boat. Don't know if I'd call it a boat. A barge, maybe. You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. No. It's all about us, huh? <laughs> it's selfish. Nice 
nice cutscene, though. Good job. Now, when you think about this politically, a monarchy, would they really welcome a claimant to the throne into their city? Wouldn't they just cause problems? Edaman, my brother, welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom, my protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. Thanks. Have you met my girlfriend, Vanasha? Here? May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks, I promise. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Forbidden West, yeah, that's the name of the next game. Like what I have for sale, I promise. We did it. Time to dance. Level up, bitches. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Two skill points. She's from the future. No, Forbidden West is a place. Don't look to me for help. My duty is to guard. I'm I don't get pretty involved. sure you can visit it. I think it's on this map. I just don't remember where. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not a monarch in any way. I don't, don't understand. Well, the only thing I know about the whole business is... <laughs> And playing Find goods for a fair price. Crusader Kings. <laughs> Allie, Marty. Thank you so much for that resub, Marty. 16 months. Another two months, you got that second sub, baby. Look, it's a raccoon. Can't be too prepared. Yeah, and Crusader Kings will be a lot different. <laughs> How's Marty doing today? It's the animal canoe. It is. We gotta go all the way up here. That's a long, long walk. Oh man, I'm tired after walking all that way. Rest at the campfire. Just woke up from a nap. I missed my nap yesterday. I attempted a nap and it didn't work out. Is there no one left to put our faith in? I just go into the city after killing the quote unquote ruler and stealing the real ruler. Yeah, but nobody knows. Nobody knows. What are you waiting around for, Outlander? Bounties are announced inside. By who? Tell me, by who? I'm weary of this never-ending struggle. Feel a little jealous. 
Your your fake dude's dead, short our and your real leader is announcing the isn't bounties even here. Inside. No. Outlander. No, Lucent Bahavas is most definitely not announcing bounties inside. I promise you. <laughs> it's exactly what he's not doing. Poor Uterman. He must have been so scared when they came for him. Now we don't even have a Sun King. What did we do to deserve this? Guess you're just a bad person. Did you kick a puppy? When the weather's this good, I like to think it's the sun letting us know everything will turn out right. That's how you lose your Sun King, is you kick puppies. This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. Um, climb it's a short drop from there. We'll never make it back to the city. Not without even to guide us. I'm supposed to go over there. Oh, I see. I like the Vinasha character. I'm not super fond of the voice actor, however. Oh, good. We just just fall. That's good. Just gonna fall. Okay. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. What you do? A vent. A vent. Look for a vent. Is this a vent? I say you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Listening. I've shown you the way in. But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Oh. Okay. So this is our point of no return. Is this the end game? I thought I got a new spear at some point. Do we need to go do the DLC content now? Will we be able to do the DLC content after we go in here? Surely we will, right? Yeah, let me know. I want the real answer. I need the real answer. This is not the end of the game. Okay. Mainly I just need to know if I can go do the DLC after I go in here. That's really all I care about. You just can't leave this bit until you finish. Okay. That's fine. That is acceptable. Thank you for the information. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her. All the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you'll have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. <laughs> Get up. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Ugh! 
I underestimated you. Too bad now, I... Yes. Use your spear against the wind. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Ooh. Do, 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 do. I'm going to assume that is a false sense of uh, urgency. I can take as much time as I want. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Welcome. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. It's the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. We said the thing. Oh, this morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Popovich. Another example of reception's need for additional support. I appreciate Zero Dawn's an immensely complicated project, but the staff who served on the front line are tired of being neglected. We have already requested we need human translators and fluent Polish security staff who can subdue enraged embryologists, dermal sedatives. Um, yes, most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well behaved, but we need help handling the exceptions to that rule. Please respond. There was a kerfuffle here. Someone was highly unhappy. Exceptions to activities require additional support. Managing ZD candidates, Zero Dawn, when they arrive at the facility, many frightened and confused. Some are highly agitated. Not the sort of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them, at minimum. Need human translators and mild sedatives for the extreme cases. So this is basically a repeat of that last one. Oh. Bonk, bonk. A door. Open door. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. Okay. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. Oh, sweet. A smaller room. Let's have a seat here and wait for my Cheetos to get here. Nobody's bringing me any Cheetos. Mm. I'm a little disappointed at the lack of Cheetos. Not gonna lie. Restock. Or else! Fifth time. Please restock the selection of herbal teas. Please, by God. I don't care if the world's ending. I need my cucumber mint or blackberry sage. <laughs> Jesus. Entitlement of some people. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Improve mm, the soundproofing between VR along the lounge area. Most of the candidates stay quiet. But the ones who scream can be plainly heard by candidates waiting their turn in the lounge. That would be a concern. If I went to, like, the doctor's office. And I heard screaming. Coming from, like, the examination room. I would definitely be rescheduling that appointment. Like, I all of a sudden have... A place I need to be. What? What was this place? A 
holographic theater. ZB01 data intact. Initiating playback. Cutscene. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, since they use these words we made up, take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. But all we have is her head. If we use the dingle dangle swoop flute, yeah. We just make up our own words to combat their made up words. Why not? That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. She gave up the H. The last letter in her name. That's what saved us. Anything else in this room, or is this just this is just a cutscene room? No. Oh, good. Oh, good. Here's Kestrels. a little tunnel. They got in through what? the vents. What's a Kestrel? Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out. If it moves, kill it. What is this place? Tomb. Three of them. What's in here? Oh, dang. Yeah, how did they get through the vents, apparently? Why didn't I just come into the vents? Apparently, that bypasses her. That would have been awful handy. Like she oh, means to fight. Good. Good. You saw me. Nice. Her. Now, now they saw me. Well, this is useless. Even use my 
freaking weapons in here. Okay, that's acceptable. The vents were closed until we opened the door. Okay. I accept your explanation. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Ah! It's you done. Let this go. <laughs> close to the tribe of practice stop us now. The data points. What do they contain? So much stuff. So many things. To do the thing. All right, let's read stuff. A wicked fire start. I bet you anything, it won't let me carry that full weapon with me anywhere. It never does. That is accurate. Yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them? Not just people. All organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody fire fuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please. Tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Uh, uh, don't! Uh, please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! He's mad. Want to discuss? Oof. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter, Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey. I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee, conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. He almost has that Texas accent down right. Nearly. He slipped up a couple times. Who previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all my work and I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it but Ted could really sell a concept and 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 in the labs in the, the the light of creation that first test run when when you saw they understood their own structures could rebuild themselves from memory and light there were no limits God there were no limits What's a Texas bubble? I, you know what? I got no idea. No clue. Never heard of it. No idea. 
I'm going to go with they made that crap up. Yeah, that last guy. You mean tell me I got horn swoggle? Oops. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. Enjoy dinner, You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code-breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said... So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? What? What just happened? I was just dancing and she went under the floor. <laughs> I was just dancing. Whoa, on the table. Okay. Candidates must be allowed to ask questions and be given the necessary time to develop, fully absorb the information they have received. It is important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for severe mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance. It is essential. To stress that all other options for combating the imperial plague and preserving the continuation of human life have been considered and found unworkable. Communicate this fact calmly, but clearly and firmly. Familiarize yourself with data on the catastrophic environmental impact of nuclear engagements versus the swarm. Addendum B. One. Unfeasibility of maintaining life in orbital, lunar, or undersea structures, but you can counter candidates' objections in depth. If a candidate asks for time alone to review supplementary information, allow this without hesitation. Be sure to inform security personnel so the candidate can be monitored for attempts at self-harm. Candidate should only be cleared to proceed to presentation too if you believe their mental state is sufficiently stable. Note that real-time support will be available via your focus. Security and medical crisis teams are data corrupted. Oh, that's inconvenient, isn't it? You get your data corrupted by that part. One more here. I'll check this one out right after I get back. One sec. I'm back. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Which Nothing the general about? said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. 
the biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Heavy. It's hard, too. I think she's German. She sounds a bit... Punk. Depending from the accents, one of them Germanic languages, for sure. For sure. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow, and you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage, we're talking a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. Great. I'm taking this Should give me the upper hand. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. It's gonna take my gun from me, isn't it? You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life? A future. What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. I mean, at least five An decisions. immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system mm. is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast mm. them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life, and then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us. 
our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. <laughs> okay. Now that makes a lot more sense. What's Hades? Hades is the god of the underworld. But then... Remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth... Did this. For life. For us. But... Why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia... How'd it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? Exactly the I questions I was having. You are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Okay. That's interesting. Put this down, I guess. I'm wondering what Hades' purpose was in the whole Gaia thing. Maybe I missed that part? And why does it seem being such a bastard now? Make your selection. Now in possession of information regarding the true nature and purpose of Project Zero Dawn. They just ignored the no It's not important. It is inconsequential. Ah, oh, dang. That itch. Uh, da, 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 da. As such, we regret that you cannot be allowed to leave this facility. There are three options available to you at this point. Please consider each carefully. Trained counselors are standing by to assist you in making your... You will be assigned. Okay. One, participation. You will be assigned to a sub project team based on your area of expertise. You should be aware that the way forward will be difficult. The project's outcome is uncertain. You will be expected to work a minimum of 80 hours per week, and your communication with family members will be strictly limited and monitored in real time. Upon successful completion of the project, you and your immediate family, or two persons of your choosing, will be transferred to the Elysium Sealed Habitat. Live out the remainder of your natural life, or until the robots get you. Of course, I guess that's a natural ending. If you get eaten by a a biofuel-consuming robot, you are naturally going to perish. I guess that works. Who is in definite detention? Should you choose to decline participation in Project Zero Dawn, you will be confined indefinitely. You have 48 hours to reconsider. After which your decision to refuse participation will be considered irrevocable. Every reasonable effort will be made to make your term of confinement as comfortable as possible, but you will not be permitted contact with the outside world. And death within 18 months due to the Pharaoh Plague is inevitable. When the Zero Dawn facility is abandoned, the detainees who wish not to offer medical euthanasia will be released. Or medical euthanasia. The information you have just received understandably calls into question the purpose of continuing to live. If you would prefer to end your life at this point, pain-free medical euthanasia is available. A 48-hour waiting period is required, during which time you may instead offer participation or confinement. Please notify a counselor when you are ready to make your choice, or if you have further questions. Listen to this one. My lord, the th 
thirteenth king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Osaram filth topple the filth. I'm actually not interested in. <laughs> More stuff. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I uh, the, the the damage that I. Well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margot, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That, that's the, the better than rapid innovation. A, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard, to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous, no, Me? the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this, but the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no, no. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back, like Syzygy East, like the Congo. Like Timo. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. A habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Alert. Medical wing in excess of Huh. This is a purple thing. I want the purple thing. Give me the purple thing. Stranded... Ah, yeah. It's something we need for that merchant. Yeah. Must be one of the euthanasia rooms. Just lie down. Everything will be fine. Pretty heavy stuff going on in here. Heavier than this thing. Yup. Looks with me. Intruder! Get her! Get her! Whatever you want.
You're pretty done. Done. Fun stuff. I want you and you. Me at them soon enough. And I didn't see this before. Highly important that candidates choose to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly without the additional coercion and without value judgment on the part of the counselor. Confirm for candidates that they were selected due to their skill sets and accomplishments. Emphasize or dedicate participation. Participation. Words. Increase the project's chance of success. Frame particip participation zero as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of an overwhelming threat. And it's may question the fairness of their selection. Validate such objections as normal, even admirable responses. Emphasize the value of candidates' expertise to the future, not just of humanity, but terrestrial life at Likewise, candidates may balk at the morality of extending their lifespans and those of loved ones beyond zero day. Validate their hesitation. Acknowledge that while the reward of Elysium is not fair, it will be earned, if possible, redirect their ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. And candidates challenge the plausibility. Permit them to review Dr. Sobek's presentations as many times as they wish and allow access to supplemental articles G01 through P20. Um, suspend the interview to fully process this documentation. A significant minority will elect for medical euthanasia. It is important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. I am a 48 hour waiting period during which counselors will be available to discuss their decision, etc. etc. No one will be euthanized against their will. And those who elect indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours of reverse decision. This is all stuff we already know. All right. I didn't go in here either. I hashed it out with them what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot blooded. So I said I'll do it. Hot blooded. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. All right, where do we start in here? Um, I don't think there's one in here. We'll start here after I get back. One moment.
Ooh, that beef stew starting to smell real good. So Artemis was, I guess, the storage for all the embryos and seeds and whatnot. Zero dawn. It is art in a way, an expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance of all the many people in their auditorium that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. <laughs> no, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Interesting. <clears throat> I choose you. This might even the odds. I think that's everything we have to listen to here. Wait, did we listen to that one? Hold on. I'm confused. Now, those lame FBI blackheads and Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them, but maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn and no ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. She chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. That's a man who knows his priorities. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? Oh. I see. I'm sure hope I'm not missing something. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Uh, require settings for nearby. Oh no. no, I don't see it. Secure creation port with the holographic display. Data shows required settings for nearby. Home. Settings transposed. It's upside down. Oh, I'm glad that stays up. There's a part so that's for. Maybe oh, okay. a storage area nearby. I didn't see that show up on this. Okay.
X was down and right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Now, this one's got one missing, and also is backward. Or rather, upside down. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Up to store. Oh. Hmm. Did you remember? Oh, no need to do that. Found one. Looks intact. Mm, their pay is getting to go to Elysium, apparently. Should do the trick. And it's easy to install. Okay. Let's get that door open. The first one's down. Next one is left. Next one's up. Done. Next one's right. And the next one's up. Nope, did I screw that up? Mm. Down, left, up. Right, down. Maybe it's the other way. I don't know, this one's up. This one's down. Oh, I have this one up. Okay. Got it. Thank you. That did it. Did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Is it a water burger? I hope it's a water burger. Let me have my gun, is it? Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there, second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. You 
just wait until I can figure out how to aim it. I can't even see this guy. Clear for a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. <sighs> Who find Gaia? What's that? Oh, one of those guns I can't have. Okay. Should have brought a cart. I got better guns now, anyway. I'm wondering if uh, one of those, what do I call it, Luke? One of those power cells is going to be in here somewhere. One of the ones I need to get that armor. I only need two more. Stocking up. All right, let's start in this room. Simulation results. Ah, oh, you weren't kidding about guys' predilection for animal morphologies, morph, morphologies. Jeez, morpho. <laughs> Teeth. You are not totally unexpected, given the rough natural terrain our bots will have to navigate. I agree. There's something deeper going on here. Our designs aren't just functional. You almost feel like tributes is the word that comes to mind. As though she's already mourning their loss. And not just for the disappearing fauna of our time, but features from the fossil record, too. References to megafauna and some of our designs. So cool. Okay. 
Whatever Kaya thinks up, Hephaestus will empower her to build it. Just wish we could still be around in the century to see what she made. Oh, and this is Durval. Durval. I remember Durval. He may or may not still be in jail. Hello. Oh, geez. I'm Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about uh, to win excuse the me, I think that's pronounced soon, morphology. Hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes. Time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. This <laughs> part. It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Morphologies. Hmm. I need another quick break. Be right back. And I'm back. So I'm guessing this triggered that? Maybe? Maybe not? Hello. Hello. I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you okay. off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. How do I turn you off? Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like... You probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. You might have noticed. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century yeah. designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. Stop. <laughs> From Elizabeth Sobeck. From Margot Shin. I doubted your brilliance in the slightest. I wouldn't have picked you as a Hephaestus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. Done with dinner and got an email. What? Was it a congratulatory done with dinner email? You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Case in point, 
The latest draft of your plan for the construction is talking bootstrap solo silos. Storometers is excellent. This, combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail. Consult with Ayomide Okilo hmm, before you finalize the silo inventories. Hephaestus's first task will be to fabricate the robots you will that will construct the waveform broadcast tower. Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation code, so any exotic materials needed for the towers should be accounted for in the inventory. So those ta broadcast towers... So, Hephaestus no. isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity oh, of a mastersmith to wield the hammer. Encoded in software. Is this, Virtual creativity is this, made real. The guy is already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphology. Huh? Slag shine glass. Heal potion hopefully will come in handy at some point. Alright, what have I missed? Anything, anything, anything that I can see. Door. Alert. Structural failure prevents access. Okay. We're closed. We need to put a sign up there. Do I want... What's this? Oh, it is a Deathbringer. You had me at gun. I can't spare the weight. Whatever. Start this again. Is there anything back there I want? Did I read this? I read this. All right. I don't think I missed any. Let's move on. stuff it's definitely stuff what's down there me have your things thank you I think this is it this is it Elizabeth Sobeck's office but it, it's sealed off there's got to be a way inside Keep looking. More eclipse. Careful now. I can shoot them. This is why I have big gun. Are we finding Greek gods yet? I mean, we're here at Gaia. We've heard a lot of talk about. I haven't actually encountered them. We encountered Hades in an earlier <clears throat> Welcome to Apollo. 
the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic <laughs> interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to Level take control up. of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Put on fake bone. Simulated bone. Alright. Bones to you. It's for you. Let me drop my gun. Ammo balls. Be suck if people would revert to tribal. That's the last of them. Alone once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. Alright. Let's read these things we left behind in here. Whoa! Aloy just loves to jump on things. Encapsulated DNA. That's 10 days from an exhaustive review of data, storage solutions, magnetic, optical, quantum, even that eternally, even that eternity take that FAS was shilling a year or so ago. Every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings. Too heavy to transport, too massive to install in the allocated space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure past 300 to 400 years, etc. etc. Encapsulated yeah. DNA will easily hold the 40 plus zettabytes projecting for all of it. Still many details to finalize. To start with, we need to select the inert material in which we'll embed the molecules already testing 16 candidate materials. As well as design and fabricate the power systems and the sealed reliquaries. Keep the DNA at minus 18 degrees C for a thousand plus years. 
As long as I assure you that it didn't factor into my decisions, may I confess that I deem it entirely fitting, indeed propitious. That I pronounce that? That we will be using the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from mechanized extinction. It is not just ironic, but heroic. Life is the hero, beating back the forces of oblivion. In any case, much to do. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, hiccups. Again, you just gotta jump on stuff. Not necessary. Wrong button. Flokies, more Flokies. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of a copy of the Homer Archive from Far Zenith has made itself known. As a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. Physical science modules are effectively completed. The soft science modules are close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is ramping up a bit ahead of schedule due to falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed that goal from the outset. With attendant curricula developed. Speaking of the heuristic curricula, they are performing well in testing with children and adolescents, demonstrating high levels of engagement with and trust in the Aristotle and Aesthesia personae. Personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate, which half my professor professors had been in so entertaining. This a door that can be done anyway. No. It is inaccessible. Forbidden. this mm, the lighting on that is kind of weird boy oh, stop it not a happy story okay up there up here. Yeah, it's very shiny compared to its crap covered neighbors, I guess you can say. Mm. Hmm. What's up here? A way forward, so we're not going in there just yet. Anything hiding up here? Idling things from me. Well, can't reach current location. Damn shame. These will keep. Not a canoe. This is at Harris's testimonial we've heard about. Canoe wants. Oh. Turned on things I didn't intend to turn on. Webcam. And there's Nugget Cam. She's up there. I'm kind of surprised she's up there. Dr. Sobek, 
Please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please note that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. I, for one, forgive Aaron Harris. I think he did he did an all right job. Um, okay, guess we're gonna go this way now. How's Canoe doing today? Guess what I'm making, Canoe? Zerodon's Extinction Failsafe Protocol, the ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the, what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, Odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now, what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> So welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. It seems like a super good idea. It was probably a... Probably a strong part of the whole thing. Necessary. But obviously. Didn't go quite right, did it? 
PD's protocol. Hey, here, just popping three blues, but I earned it. I figured out a Goldilocks solution to Guy's rather extreme executive authority. If that ain't worth 10 to 12 hours of dream time, will it? Every usurpation protocol I designed failed in the simulation because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard and it degraded the guy core. Sure, prior to figurative fingers off the figurative driving wheel so Hades could take control by breaking her fingers, sometimes her arms too. That couldn't fly. Everything depends on Guy and taking control back after Hades has done his business. I had to find a solution that didn't give Guy any worse, leave Guy any worse for the way. Too soft and Guy only pretended to relinquish control. In simulation after simulation, Hades would take command of the terraforming system, reverse operations, only had Guy alert in the background, quietly re reversing processes and falsifying telemetry to hide its interference. Sneaky! I swear, ain't nothing Guy wouldn't do to keep life going. Even if it's just simulated plant life. Turns out the just right solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective code shell, presuming, preserving its integrity, then unseat it from the command position. So Hades can slip into the figure to the captain's chair and work its magic. The blues are coming pretty strong now, so I'm not really describing it so clear, but pretty sure it'll work. The blues are pretty strong. I guess it's time to sleep in bed. Back at tomorrow, alligators. Tape, dude. I don't know about this guy. Archive news. This mail concerns Apollo archive submission. Your 666 submission in just five days. Boy, what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings, inappropriate materials you chose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exploitation cinema. Allow me then to thank you on two counts. One, for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission, thereby consigning your favorite East European torture flicks and their ilk to the dust heap of oblivion. Truly warms my heart to know that I have saved future humanity from the ordeal of experiencing not just one, all 16 installments of making a millipede. <laughs> Don't worry, gasoline material has already been preserved. Extreme, perhaps, but art. For clarifying a concept that has so long been ambiguous and ethically fraught for archivists such as myself. Definition of obscenity. You have freed me from the subjective quagmire embodied in Judge Potter's famous utterance, I know it when I see it. Thanks to you, I can now apply a single objective criterion. If Travis Tate submitted it, it's obscene. Accordingly, I have directed Apollo staff to summarily reject all your future submissions, sight unseen. Perhaps you might invest the time you would have spent preparing further submissions on, oh, I don't know, your assigned work. You have a world to save, after all, for the rest of it. For the rest of us, do you. Dr. Other Person. That's that lady that was working on, yeah, Apollo. Right, right. Always oh, cool. Don't be confounded, Lizzie. Lizzie? Oh, that's what he's calling Elizabeth. Bashcore? Anyone who says the old TT goes to Bashcore is straight up lying. You know it. Broke your phone camera. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Rather goes to the leader Satarum Runoff. And listen to Grey Swarm for 30 seconds. This guy is, this is just him complaining that other people are complaining about his crappy music. Got it. Drop your phone while reaching for a Kit Kat. Was it a good Kit Kat? Looks like the only way onwards. I get oh um. I appear to be stuck. Hmm. 
Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Some developer somewhere went, you know what? That's fine. That little bit there, nobody will ever decide they want to crawl into that. Why would they? That's ludicrous. Official persons for cradle serving. Nurture, disciplinarian, healer. She's a good pacer. Targeting Turing 0.4 for these constructs. She'll have low grade empathy, limited improvisations without undermining adherence to codified behavior sets. Also, a test reports on an incident where a servitor running the mother persona intervened on a disciplinary servitor's behavior. Normal argument. Amusing on first glance, but deeply concerning. Uh, it's just blah 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 blah. Not that interesting, that one. FZ Chambers. Pictogenic Chambers arrived two days ago. Spent the last 36 hours examining them and poring over technical documentation. They're a revelation. Astonishing. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I don't know what you had to give for Zenith and Trade to get these chambers. But it was worth it. A single leap, their embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risks of ECMO resolved. Nutrition delivery resolved. Hormonal stability resolved. Twelve other risk areas resolved. Before I examine these chambers, I consider the Odyssey to be a fool's errand. The rest of FZ's technology is at this level. Well, a human calling around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication. But the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I'm confident they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours and get back to it. Expect a fabrication plan within 48 hours. Really wish he'd start jumping on desks all the time. Cradle seal. Luthia-01 was successfully sealed before the swarm advanced and crosses in Xinjiang. Promise could detect ping back from crucial systems is good, from maiden voyage a success. Regards my disputes with the betas over zygote selection. Of course, I understand we have limited overhead to run simulators of gene flow in our future humans. We can all agree there is margin for refinement in future cradle populations. In addition to personally overseeing completion of the Eleuthia O2 site inside Mount Namuli, I will formulate the proposal a modified Zygote selection plan within the week. Oh, oh check it out. Now, what about this green thing? Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species. And so this is PBK. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint. Even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but 
as one of the authors of the Accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors, to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Right, next destination is up there. I'd say, how do I get up there? But now I see these stairs. Yeah. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a Corrupted Alpha Registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. I'm trying hard to make sure I don't miss any. Was that altered? Oh. Oh. Probably not. No offense to Altern, but... I don't think Altern would get selected for a project like this. Oh, it's the thing. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Stuff in here. Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. The hell is this? Us would benefit from antilopinae morphologies, though caprid forms show superior load bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Good job, Gaia. Good job. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, 
May I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Hey, that's the end of that. Uh, I no longer have a mission objective. Where's it gone? Apparently, I can get back there. Okay, I'm at the mission objective. That's why. In here. I missed something. Oh, pry open door. See, that's what I missed. Charles Ronson to Elizabeth. It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it. Those words can still mean anything. I had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas. Suspended in what ifs. More than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. Started mapping. Primary succession. Selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere. Microorganisms and insects, rabbits and hawks, foxes and wolves, thousands more that will have to wait their turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them. So they can return to a world that, this time, will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many too late. Lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough of Myanmar. Samples we lost were irreplaceable. Thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend and not break. Earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now, not like that. Not on our watch. It, we kind of graduated. It was a demo. Odyssey has faith. Oops. All right. Thank you, Canoe. That five minutes of webcam that lasted 24 minutes. All right, Odyssey. I wonder what this was. Oh, doesn't matter. Uh, some terrible news, I'm afraid. Far as Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and Earth. We must. Well, that's a shame. The Alpha Registry Master File. 
Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Baby. Baby who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine such a and bastard, why? <laughs> why were you created? Uh-oh. What the, the balls are those? You need to get oh, out of there. Bags. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. suitable death in mind for you child <laughs> isn't this the guy that was conducting the attack on the proving at the very beginning like a long time ago my entire life I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty that I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun he made me Even unharmed. when Jaron was murdered. Even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamen was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? What were the farts that were leaking at those forget gas? Some sort. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well, for a savage. His name was Rost, and he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no. It's an interesting it neck piece. I could have finished you before he attacked. A variety of rather large but caliber. I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men, meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas, meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you, here, so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be, predestined and preordained. <clears throat> I 
What's the things in the front? Um, if I was to guess, it's a total guess. If it's if the entire thing is firearm derived, then it's probably some kind of gas piston used to cycle the uh, firing mechanism. Did they just paste in that Bahama dude sentence? I have no idea. You're a thug. You're a fool. You're a puppet. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine. Not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then open this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place. Exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Well, they're irrelevant. Wow. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. Oh, he broke our toy. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Oh, good. I knew we were going to end up in here. Karja Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hmm. Hold 
hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. I like his bullet. Let this, this one, kind of. who schemed and I think slithered, it can be, a little more be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. I'll never beat that thing without weapons. Oh, my weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this way. Maybe I could use its strength against it. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Jeez. I'm not over here, buddy. Try luring the behemoth into the pillars. Come here, buddy. It's nice. Gotta get out of the way. Plenty of time to put my armor on and everything. Uh, it's behind you. Hey! Guess who got her weapons back? Come and get you! Those components on the sides of its head. It's got something to do with his lift attack. Ow. He's not Eddie. Silence! She is back seating a bit, yes. <laughs> but it's alright. We appreciate uh -oh. We appreciate that. Shadows. Kill her. I knew we did not fight these things. him now.
what's his face? That's right, that's his name. <laughs> okay, he's summoning something. this. Traitor! All right, that was exciting. the evil making scorpion bots go well, we found out so you're here really here you risked your life of course i did if you'd been killed benora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets too bad you wasted your time then helis destroyed my focus and the alpha registry with it not at all the whole time i've been monitoring your focus i've duplicated every data file you scanned Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Sam. <laughs> but I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. And... I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Yeah, yep, see, this is my next question. You can override machines? Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sun Ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. This guy's got some body modifications that I'm not entirely comfortable with. Maybe if they didn't, you know, light up and glow. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. <coughs> the tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For you keep plot armor. I hope there is Literally. someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! All of a sudden, he has some kind of compassion. Completed main quest. Let's hear the song. We did main quest. We got a skill point, which we can use like immediately. Saving these for the trail. 
Four. Okay, we could have used this before. Mm, it doesn't really matter what we do, I don't think. Press X to launch a jumping attack from your mount. Damages medium machines and can take down small machines and humans. Small humans or just regular humans? All right, let's get this one. Oh, that sounds fun. Maybe there's something we can try it out on over here. Maybe not over here, because that's where the rock digger thing is. This driver is slow as hell. First off, we need one of these. Ooh, feels good to get a save in. I'm sure we had checkpoints, but I feel a lot better now. Go to all. Oh, good. Got him. Ah, uh, that's actually kind of cool. Man. Killing this stuff just got a lot easier. Beast two starting to smell really good. Okay, what are you doing? All right, let's see. an affiliate. Congrats, Zach. Well done. Alright. That's going to be it for today, I think. I'm going to go get a rest and maybe something to eat and feed this cat. She's getting a little ornery. But we made some good, some good progress today. Sadly, we were forced to do Sadly, we were forced to do some main quest, but we did get one new side quest done. All right, let's go over here. Beckador is playing some Spelunky. That's a fun game to watch. I like it a lot. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's been a lot of fun. I will see y'all tomorrow for some... Sam Monday. Wasn't it two new side quests? I don't think so. The priest dude and the king dude. I think, wasn't that all part of the same? That was all part of the same side quest. That was all the same thing. But anyway, take it easy, everybody. I'll see y'all later. Talk to y'all later. Bye.